Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku for Thursday, September, uh, May 30th, 2024. Why am I jumping four months ahead? I don't know, but be that as it may, I've got ones in rows two and three. I can place a one and two spots in row one of box one, and that appears to be the only repeat digit I have in the top. Two, nine, seven, five, three, six, once a piece. Yep. In the middle, uh, three rows. Here's some twos, and this two rules that one out. So I've got a two in two places in row five. Three, eight, six, seven, five, nine, four. Okay, I'm done. Eight, three, one, four, five, nine. So the bottom rows are done. Now, by columns, three, oh, actually, those two threes force it there, but three in row seven rules that one out. So three in box seven is actually placed, following on threes in one of those in row eight. In the middle columns, oh, look, here's the six. Eight, two, five, four, seven, one, I'm done. And in the, oh, there's a one, based on these two. And then those nines are going to force a nine actually right there. So nine ends up here. This one, unfortunately, is not going to do any good. I don't have ones in row four or five. So I get three digits by simple scanning. Let's see what else I can do here. I'm looking at box five, and that looks rather interesting because where does seven go? There are one, two, three, four spots, but these are ruled out by the seven in column six. That one's ruled out by the seven in row five. So seven is forced in box five, which in turn will force it here and there and here, respectively. Now, uh, one is actually forced there. By logic, these are a three nine pair, and I know the order. Okay, so now nine is in one of these two. Three, unfortunately, is here. I do not have a three seven nine there. I almost want to. Okay, I've got two three six seven eight. I need one four five and nine for row four. Actually, neither of these can be 1 or 9. So, both of these must be a 4 or 5. Okay, row 4 is complete. Now, these cells are 3, 6, and 8 in some fashion. And I end up with that as a configuration. Row six has one, two, three, four, nine. I need five, six, seven, eight to fill out the row. These need two, three, four, six, and eight. Well, none of them can be three, so they are from two, four, six, and eight. And this sees everything but six. That's a hidden digit. So six is nowhere that, to be found there. This is a five, seven, eight triple. So these are two and four. These are three and eight, and therefore this one can't be eight. That's six. Let me move this. Okay, these three cells in column seven, I'm left with a triple. Four, six, and eight. Okay, uh, column six has one, three, six, seven, nine. I need two, four, five, and eight. That cell can't be two. These are any of two, four, five, and eight. And 
and I get nothing useful out of it. This cell is rather restricted. It cannot be one, four, five, six, seven, nine. That's strictly two, three, or eight. This one can't be one, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. This is two or eight only. These ones can be anything but four, five, or seven. By column logic. And that sees 138 by row and 9 all givens by column. Okay, so 1's here. Because 3's there, I don't have a 136 here. But, well, duh. I could have figured that out from those positions. Let's see. These can't be 1, 2, 6, or 8. They could be 4. They can't be 1, 9, or 7. 1, 7, or 9. So they are strictly 3 or 5 from odd digits. That one's not 5. Okay, so you notice 2 can't be here or here. 2 is forced there in column 5. Therefore, these cells are not 2, and crucially, that's a 6. This six doesn't help me at all. Oh, what are these? A bunch. Four is still out there. But it feels like three, seven, and nine. Unfortunately, this could still be three, so this is not a three, seven, nine triple. I wish it was. Because if that was the case, this is 4 and that's 5. But I don't know this yet. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Are still possible for odd digits. Now, 7 and 9, as you've noticed, must be in one, two of those three cells. But that's a tell us something we don't know scenario. In the case of column 3, I have 2, 3, 4, 6, 8. I need 1, 5, 7, and 9. This can only be 9 out of those digits. So 1, 9. And I've got things that aren't 9. That forces one of those two to be a 9. Okay, this can only be 5 or 7. Well, that's 7. This is 5. To finish column 3 out, this is not 7. 3, 4, 5, now that's a triple, and so 7, 9 end up there. And I've got a nasty conglomeration there. This, duh, this can't be five. Okay. In box seven, I have three, four, five, seven, eight. I need one, two, six, and nine. Which is not going to be resolved. Well, maybe it can be. This is one, six, and nine. It must be two. This is forced to be a nine. Those two end up as one six. Two in column two places two, four, seven, nine. Uh, four, five doesn't help me with anything that I can see. Okay, these are two, three, four, five, nines. So those are one, six, seven, and eight. Well, this has to be seven or eight. It can't be one or six. And now these two are one, six, and I know the order. Okay, one, two, three, six, nine. So those are four, five, seven, and eight. This is four or eight only. It can't be five or seven. Uh, 
I could be an N2. So I've got a 4578 quad in column one and in box one. Well, there's a five, because column four is reduced to a three, four pair. So column three, that, yeah, it is four. Okay, that's not five. Four, seven, eight, we'll place this as a five. You said these were two, so those can't be two. Therefore, one of those must be. Okay. In row three, I have one, three, five, six, nine. I need two, four, seven, and eight. Well, four has to go there. That's not resolved yet. One, five, six, seven, nine. This is going to be from 2, 3, 4, and 8, which again isn't fixed. But this can't be 4 because one of those is. Therefore, this is not 4 either. Placing that cell as a 4. 3. One eight places this as a 2. This can't be two or eight, that's five, that's four. That's eight, that's six. Four, two, three, four. Whoops, no, eight, seven, I just mistyped. Two, let's see, it's forced to be an eight. Let's see, this ends up as four and eight. This is going to be 3 and 7 from the looks of things, which amazingly isn't fixed yet. But I didn't need to go quite that far. That one's forced to be a 5. It can't be anything else. That sorts out the remaining pairs, and then it's just a matter of filling in digits. That is 7... Two and six. And not quite 13 minutes. I'll take it. I think we're getting to the point where between 10 and 15 minutes is a good time. My left hand, as you can see, doesn't quite turn over all the way. My right hand does, and I'm actually not using this with a numeric keypad. So given the data entry limitations plus my physical limitations, I'd say 10 to 15 minutes is a very good time for these things.